be launching the Tasty Pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Friday, September 10th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you woke up ready to move some serious weight this morning because I'm officially declaring this Deadlift Friday. Today we're giving you four segments that feature some of your favorite athletes pulling heavy ass weights off the floor including this brand new clip from Hunter Labrada. Even though he's heading into the home stretch of his Olympia prep, Hunter's still in full go mode and he isn't showing any signs of slowing down. To a certain extent, I think there's less hype surrounding Hunter heading into this year's show, even though he's coming in as a top 10 finisher from a year ago, who also happened to make some pretty dramatic improvements. But at the end of the day, it's not about the hype, it's about the results. And if there's one thing that we've learned about Hunter so far, it's that he's proven time and time again that he knows how to deliver in crunch time. <laughs> Believing that every man is created equal is one of the founding principles of America. But here's the thing. Sometimes you see videos of people like Ian Valliere deadlifting seven plates for five reps, and you realize that we actually weren't all created equal. Some people were just born to be superhuman savages, and Ian is one of those people. Despite having two big time wins on his resume already this year, I think the general thought process from Ian's camp is that he's still not even close to being satisfied with what he's done so far. He even said something to the effect earlier this year. The man he was born to be was a bodybuilder. He loves to compete, it's part of who he is, and until he reaches the summit, that intrinsic drive to cover more ground doesn't stop. You can't beat him? You join him. That's how the old saying goes. But I have a question for you. What happens when you're a classic physique athlete who's chasing Chris Bumstead? Beating him isn't an option, and joining him, well, doesn't really feel like much of an option at this point either. Because as far as I can tell, Chris is one of the few guys in the division who I've seen make a concerted effort to include heavy pulls as a core part of his strategy during the offseason and during his Olympia prep. We've all seen the pictures, we've all read the comments, and we've all heard Jay Cutler say that he thought Chris could be an open Olympia champ if he wanted to. This is Chris's time. He's in a class by himself right now. And since you can't beat him and you damn sure can't join him, I guess that leaves fighting for a distant second as your only option. Nine times out of 10, when we talk about someone training to failure on this show, we're actually talking about muscular failure. But this might be the first time that I can remember us running a clip of an athlete training to failure and ending a set because the barbell tapped out before he did. A few days ago, we came across this clip of Joe Mackey pulling 765 for three reps before a set came to an end after one of the clips busted, which ended up causing him to dump the load. Aside from the fact that he's pulling 765 for reps, which is ridiculous in and of itself, the craziest thing about this video is the fact that Joe said he was planning to go for six before things literally and figuratively fell apart. For 99% of the people on the planet, hitting 765 for one is a PR that's so far out of the realm of possibility that they'd never even thought about attempting it. But for Joe, 765 for three is just a regular Tuesday. And if that doesn't fire you up to go out there and crush your workout today, you might want to start reconsidering your hobbies because this might not be for you. That does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.